I'd like to introduce to you now a lady who's been one of the most popular comedians in the United States for over 40 years. Now, some of you may have uh, not have heard of her yet. She's only started recently uh, doing television. But she's often been called the funniest woman in the world. And after spending a week, Tom and I, rehearsing and working with her, we, we heartily agree. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Moms Mabley. I love to put my arms around your son, young and all. <laughs> you know, Mom don't like old men. <laughs> no. Anytime you see me with my arms around an old man, I'm holding him for the police. <laughs> I don't know whether it was the voice or like the clothes or just her whole being. There was something about her that just knocked me out, and knocked me out like when I was a kid. Moms didn't look like anybody else. I mean, she had this weird little hat and uh, like a house coat, and she was odd, and she told stories, and her impact on me was profound, and I, I really wanted to know if she impacted other people like that. So. There's not much more I can tell you about her, so let me just let her introduce herself to you. For the benefit of some of you children now that don't know Mom, that's the name, Mom. M-O-M frontward, M-O-M backward, upside down, W-O-W, wow. When I was a kid, the first female comedian I saw on television, which blew my mind, was Mom's Mabley. It was just great to watch her sound a way that I hadn't heard and a cadence I wasn't familiar with, but dressed like my mom. And don't let my looks deceive you. I've been where the wild goose went. Well, first of all, she would have no teeth in. She was like a real person, like somebody like in your family, like a feisty old grandmother or something, you know. I was married to one old man and he died. Thank goodness. <laughs> As a kid, I don't remember women being in the funny business, so she may have been the first woman that made me laugh, other than my mom. His sister died, and we went to the funeral. After the funeral was over, the preacher walked over to him and tapped him on the shoulder. He said, how old are you, Pops? He said, 91. <laughs> he said, ain't no need you going home. Moms was fearless, you know, and she was probably the pioneer of uh, making sure you paid attention. She was a trailblazer. And she wasn't trying to be a trailblazer. She was just trying to say her stuff, you know? Trying to get her shit out. I don't want nothing old but some old money. <laughs> Buy me some young ideas, that's what I'm gonna do. She's been lost somewhere in history, in, in comedic history. Nobody looks at female comedians as groundbreakers or as commentators on what's going on in the world, because we do it with comedy. All comedy is, and all she was, was a lady standing up there telling the truth. I got something to tell you. How you like Mom's dress? You know you can get some real nice things with them green stamps, you know that? 